What will the military developments of the future be like? Many imagine confrontations between UAVs and drones which will be operated from a distance. Some people imagine war with robots and artificial intelligence. Can a person be replaced? A researcher, Alexander Scott, from a research laboratory in the USA, predicted what weaponry would be like in 2050. After researching the history of military technology during the last seven centuries, he made the following conclusion. In the future, firepower will become stronger and what we see in movies will become reality. Let's start with tanks. They will become stronger, heavier, and will be armed with 155 millimeter cannons. What do you think of this project of a huge tank that is bigger than a house? A couple rows of tank tranks carry a hundred tons of weight. They would be able to traverse almost any off-road, making it through even the most difficult of places. The cannon can blow off half a battleship with one shot. Increasing firepower in tanks is one of the areas of development. Agreed, even a small missile can strike a fatal blow if it's traveling faster than the speed of sound, and only a few seconds later would the sound of the shot actually be heard. Scientists call it hypersound. When a shot is taken, only the flash can be seen and so the enemy can be eliminated before he realizes that the battle has started. And though it's assumed that tanks will be on autopilot and on a homing site, a person would still have to operate this dangerous machine. More likely than not, it would be a specially trained infantryman with an exoskeleton. For example, the Talos, or Tactical Assault Light Operator Suit A exoskeleton, which has a navigation system, communications, monitoring of vital signs, and most importantly, light liquid ceramic armor. Now, work is being conducted to cheapen this armor in order to equip it to different units of the U.S. military. How can such infantry resist such strong artillery? There's no way! To help, they need to be mobile. In order to get out of the kill zone of even the fastest missile and be able to return fire, a flying motorcycle would do the trick. A Canadian engineer from Bombardier presented a project for such motorcycles. His flying bikes are supposed to accelerate to a speed of approximately 200 40 kilometers per hour. They are quite small, so the pilot can maneuver while hitting him would be hard. The engines of such a motorcycle would be strong enough to also carry four anti-tank missiles. At the same time, it would be easy to operate the bike thanks to a computer stabilization system. And if anything were to happen, the pilot would have a parachute. Right now, this project is only being developed, but it's unlikely the army would decide not to equip its paratroopers with these iron horses. Jet engines are cool, of course, but not one of them would be able to fly across the Atlantic Ocean in three hours. Well, a thermonuclear engine could do so with no issues, as the plane, which operates on the synthesis of nuclear energy, can fly two times faster than the speed of sound, reaching a speed of up to 3,700 kilometers per hour. We're not talking about drones, but about monstrous planes which carry passengers on board. For military use, it means lightning speed deployment of paratroopers or an evacuation, while for passenger travel, it is an actual revolution. Such a plane already exists, though truth be told, only as a project by the Spanish designer Oscar Vinalsa. He calls it the Flash Falcon, and it looks more like a spaceship. The plane has two big advantages. First off, the thermonuclear reactor is economically better than a normal engine, so such a supersonic plane is actually a green technology. Secondly, the reactor can utilize used fuel. This would allow the plane to be in the air for months. Impressive, right? While this plane is being developed and still needs to become real, then this following military technology already exists. It is a special handgun against drones. The pistol, model Drone Gun Mark III, doesn't shoot bullets, but radioelectric impulses. This is why even the most maneuverable drone, which is operated by a distance, wouldn't be able to avoid a hit. The impulse would drown out the drone's signals, which would either lead it to crashing or force it to conduct an emergency landing by returning back to base. This would also allow the discovery of the enemy's location. The gun weighs less than 2 kilograms, while it shoots these impulses to a maximum distance distance of 500 meters. What about the modern tendency of military engineers to copy actual
Evil Nature. The Chinese have created a robot scout which looks like a shark. The machine is meant for the gathering of information underwater and is made with such realism that it's hard to discover it. The prototype is equipped with only recording devices, but a weapon can be made of it. Such a robot shark is an ideal spy, as it would not only gather intelligence in enemy waters, but would also be able to shoot back if fired upon, or if need be, self-destruct. There is yet another invention. Jetpacks. In the past, such technology could be seen in sci-fi movies, but now there are already working prototypes. The testing of them is really something. Would you dare fly between two moving ships if only a few small engines in a bag kept you in the air? Richard Browning is the creator of the Daedalus Jetpack, which he tested himself. Several times, he flew between rubber inflatable boats and a patrol boat, which were moving at full speed. He easily landed on them and took off again. The British jetpack can be considered to be an answer to the French flying board with the name Flyboard Air. Do you recall part two of the Back to the Future trilogy? It seems the French got inspired by this movie when they gave their tester a skateboard with an engine instead of wheels. The tester, Frank Zapata, had already flown on his board during a military parade in Paris. According to the creators, this hoverboard can reach heights of three kilometers. In other words, the same height at which planes fly at. The soldier's top speed could reach 150 kilometers per hour. The powerful engines existed before, but now it's been understood how to make them smaller and lighter. The only thing now needed is to figure out how to diminish the use of fuel so that the soldier can remain in the air for longer than 15 minutes. What about weapons that think? They already exist. But we're not talking about robots, we're talking about missiles. You'll ask, a missile is an expendable material, its purpose is to explode together with the target, so why give it artificial intelligence? The answer is simple, for independent searching of targets. Such bombs are being produced for the Israeli army. Raphael recently concluded the development of Spice 250 missiles. Guidance and satellite navigation are not new. What is amazing about this missile is its optical target recognition system, so it pretty much sees the enemy and looks for them itself. All these missiles weigh 100 kilograms, of which three-fourths is made up of explosives. Imagine, a dangerous terrorist is sitting on the turret of a heavy tank and is moving in his squad's column. Nowadays, in order to eliminate him, the entire column needs to be attacked. The terrorist can lock himself into the tank and hide, but Spice 250 can identify him and target his tank even if the terrorist has enough time to hide himself inside. The missile will destroy him regardless, as other than the scary powers of the Spice 250, it is also very accurate. The maximum deviation from a target is 3 meters. We know that many people right now are asking themselves, what about the Navy? If military developers are working on planes which fly many times faster than the speed of sound, and exoskeletons for infantry, then surely the Navy can't be left as is. The British thought of a way of landing Marines on enemy beaches during an amphibious assault not only secretly, but also quickly. Their solution, a hybrid ship, which has two modes. It's called Victa, and in one mode, it's a fast boat which moves at a speed of 55 kilometers per hour. That's 30 knots, which would make it faster than most military naval assets. Without refueling, the boat can traverse 450 kilometers, but afterwards, the coast would be visible on the horizon, and the boat's priority would not be speed, but stealth. The boat then turns into a submarine. This allows it to approach the shore unseen and results in the landing of assault troops before the enemy even knows what's going on. As a matter of fact, it takes only two minutes for the boat to switch modes. The military inventions of the future are impossible without a powerful steel vehicle. Just take a look at this off-road vehicle Oshkosh LATV. It has a 300 horsepower engine and can reach a maximum speed of 110 kilometers per hour weighing more than six tons. The armored frame can withstand hits from large caliber guns, but the most impressive part of this vehicle is its variety, as there are more than 30 variants. A vehicle for fighting in the desert? No problem. A vehicle which is covered in machine guns? Of course! 
The exact specifications of its protective capabilities are secret, but it is known that the manufacturer highlighted its protection from mines. Impressive power, right? But more than anything, what's shocking is that all these new inventions will change the way warfare is conducted in the next few years. Some people are delighted, but for many, they're impressed in a bad way. What about you? Do you think the modernization of military technology is a way to better protect the freedoms of peaceful citizens, or do you view it negatively? Let us know in the comments.